Hello everyone, uh, this is Arthas here again. Sorry it's been a while since I've actually done anything, I just, yeah. I've just been sort of lazy. Oh wow, this is really loud. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. I need to turn down the volume. Uh, sound volume, we'll go down to here, I guess. Okay. Scan lines. Oh, I see. Huh. Nah. I'll keep that off. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, this is a game called Teleglitch that I just sort of stumbled across on um, on Steam recently. It had a little sale, it was about five bucks, so I just picked it up. Uh, I played a little bit of it just to sort of like get familiar with the controls um, went through the tutorial. And um, so yeah, let's head through here. We were working on the master teleporter that could transport you anywhere, to unlimited distances. But something went wrong. Something came through from the other side. First we thought it was a minor glitch, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. The facility AI became aggressive and the military robots turned on us. The space of the complex started warping. Rooms and hallways would randomly reorganize themselves as if following some twisted pattern. I started... Uh, I decided to seal myself in here and wait for help. I've been hiding out here for weeks, but nobody came, and I'm running out of food. My only chance is to use the regular teleporters of, of the facility to get to the master teleporter, and then teleport myself back to Earth. Okay, so this is like a uh, pixelated style game that's got like a... Let's see, I'll get... What was that? As you can hear, there's people running around out there. Empty can, empty cans. Oh, yep. Okay. Whoa. Got another one. Cool. Oh. Oh god, there's so many. Well, this is off to a brilliant start. Usually I don't even have contact until like four or five rooms, but... Oh, whatever. Anyway. Let's see what this computer has to say. Nails, note to the chief supply officer. Have the mail, have, have the supply ship bring in a double load of internal construction supplies, including 400 boxes of standard nails. Apparently, the demand for nails has gone up drastically during the past weeks. Thank you. What's this? What's the re Oh. I'll try to be accurate so that you guys don't have to tell me that I'm really crap at shooting things. Uh, it's like, uh, it's about 11 o'clock at night right now. Everything's pretty quiet. So. Perfect time to record something scary, right? Oh. I have crap accuracy, as you can probably guess. Or, as you've probably noticed. The Facility AI-1. The Facility AI was originally designed to be nothing more than a good administration system. However, the key aspect of intelligence is evolution. After a while, the AI learned so much it started helping out with other things besides administration. It researched new weapons, helped build robots, and even designed architecture for new facility buildings. I'll be reading all of those just so you guys kind of get an idea of what's going on. I'm not sure exactly how long I'm going to play this. I might play it until I beat it. I might play it until I don't beat it. As will likely be the case. Because this game is hard. Militech Corporation. One of the largest military corporations of the modern world. Militech covers the entire war industry from research and training to supply, production, and strategic operations. Militech employs over 1 billion personnel all over the known space and is estimated to own over 15% of the total resources of human civilization. That's an impressive feat. 
All right, this one I have not read yet. Oh, it's the teleporter location. So this is what I like about the map, is it's got this really cool, oh wow. Oh geez, we've got a long, we've got a large map today. Great. All right, so where am I now? All right, I haven't explored this door. I haven't explored either of these doors or that door. So I'm gonna go do that real quick, seeing as they're in the opposite direction. As I suspected. RDX 250. Planet Medusa 1C, Natural Conditions. The planet's surface features extremely high temperatures, deadly radiation, and poisonous atmosphere. This means all personnel should stay inside the research facility. Exiting the facility without adequate protective equipment is instantly fatal. Glad to know that. Let's see. Okay. But yeah, I love I love how this game deals with sight lines. It's just utterly black wherever you can't see. I love that. I love that look. Oh. Nastiness. Ah, yes. Teleglitch space time anomaly. Initial analysis summary. These blobs of black and colorful anomalies seem to be the only result of today's experiment with unlimited range teleportation. We've been investigating this phenomenon for the past two hours and think it might have profound implications for theoretical physics. The blackness seems to be literally an inside-out space-time curvature and opens a range of possibilities for research. My colleague has already suggested we could weaponize it by capturing the field into a super intense wave and pressure container. Into super intense wave and pressure containers to be used for planetary bombardment. Oh, and if you touch it, your brain explodes. Nice to know. Okay, that sound is a uh, generator, I think, like a little engine. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh, hello. Automatic grenade launcher, hell yeah. Reload my pistol. Okay. Let's go right here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Secret walls. The facility contains some rooms that are quickly walled off with temporary materials, resulting in damaged looking walls that can be destroyed with ranged weapons. These sealed rooms sometimes contain useful equipment, including weapons. Oh, glad to hear, thanks. I don't know why that was a message, but thanks. Let me clip. Planet Medusa 1C, Indigenous Life Forms. Biodiversity on Medusa 1C is literally minimal, but well accustomed to the deadly atmospheric conditions. So far, only two life forms have been discovered, and both are lethal to humans. These species are cat-sized amoeba that use corrosive chemicals to consume every anything organic. Okay. Is this one of those? One of those walls. Let's drop some RDX 500. Okay, that is not one of the walls. <laughs> ah. Perhaps this? Oh, this is this is one. Yep, this is one. Awesome. Can gun. Why would I want that? It's dangerous to me. Oh, whatever. Let's see. Okay. Let's head up here.
Planet Medusa 1C, small, almost Earth-sized planet with no significant resources and far from colonized space. Its planetary stock price was incredibly low, making it a perfect spot for Militech research. Being far from any settlements give it, gave an added bonus of reduced distraction for scientists in the facility. Glad to see these generators are still working. Alright. Let's see. Oh. Bring your face to my bullets. Alright. If I miss anything, you guys better let me know. What the hell is that noise? Oh, it's more Telegrove. Ow. Oh. Okay, let's see. Also, my character is left-handed. I think that's kind of interesting. 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 Blah, 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 blah. How do I... How do words... Tell me which space-time anomaly. These blobs of black and colorful anomalies seem to... Oh, okay, we've already read this. I don't know why we have it here again. Canned meat! Canned meat. Oh, shotgun! Shotgun! Oh, that was a mistake. I'm gonna use my pistol, but it worked! Canned meat. Okay, let's go down here again. Just sort of fully explore this place properly. Unless I already went through here all the way. No, I didn't. Ooh. Nine millimeter clips. Well, clip singular. <sighs> anyway, yeah. Tube. Good, good, good. I've got a tube now. Okay. Whoa. Not cool, bro. Really not cool. Cool. Okay, now we're cool. Ah. How big is this place? Jeez. Ooh. What's this? Shotgun shells! Yay! Ah! Oh, the teleporter! Teleport to the plankton farm. Abandoned sector. Teleport to the military biology sector. Hmm. Well. Plankton? Or military? 
Now oh, let's go military. Oh, that was loud. Sorry to everyone that with headphones. The situation is much worse than I expected. It seems that the non-human combatants have been let loose all over the facility, and they are programmed to attack on sight. The facility life, life support seems to be working, but only at emergency capacity. Almost all weapons lockers and food reserves have been emptied, probably by the zombies. Why do zombies need food? The military biology sector will be a tough one, if it's, for it's the center of the military purpose life forms. Life cloned, mutated, and breeded for a single perp nasty purpose. I bet they're all hungry. I killed one zombie and 26 mutants. Cool. Alright. That will be it for this episode. So thanks for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye bye!